All right. Hey, parents, and welcome to our episode of Shaping Arrows, where we offer quick encouragements and quick how-tos uh, to making disciples in your home. I am Brant Gordon. I'm over our family ministries here at Mercy Hill. Uh, today, I've got with me Gary Rivers. Uh, Gary is our campus pastor at the uh, Clifton Road campus. Um, he's also, those of you who may not know this, um, he is a uh, certified ACBC counselor. Uh, and so pretty cool in terms of his expertise, in terms of counseling, um, as our topic today is talking about how do you help kids like navigate their emotions during this season? What does it look like? Um, I know uh, talking with Gary some, everybody has gone, gone through a lot of crazy emotions during this season, a lot of highs, a lot of lows. Um, I know as parents, we're hel helping to navigate that like for ourselves, but also navigating that for our kids. Um, and it's a challenge. And so we got Gary with us just for a few minutes today. We're gonna hear from him. Uh, just about what's going on in their life and about some resources that we can be using as uh, parents. So Gary, welcome. Um, man, can you share with us what has been going on uh, kind of in your house, maybe a funny story, something that you've kind of been dealing with emotions that you've navigated uh, your child as well as your two, two foster children that you have at home with your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. What's up, everybody? And uh, thanks, Brent, for having, uh, having me on here to talk about this. Um, yeah, I think about like funny stories like, um, yeah, my wife Joy and I, we uh, we got three kids in our home right now uh, between the ages of, of five and six. So it's like it's, it's kind of kind of an energy, uh, an energy powder keg in our home from, you know, from when you wake up to, to well, really when they wake up all the way up until uh, okay. the entire day. Uh, but um, man, when you got three kids, you kind of recognize that there's a lot of competition between them. And oftentimes there's a lot of a lot of snitching, <laughs> just straight up. It's just a lot of a lot of tat tattletelling, and it's always wanting to tell on each other. And we we really have been trying to like mitigate that. We've been trying to change them from that, and um, really trying trying to figure out a better way to get them to communicate. Like if something is is really necessary to communicate versus them just kind of working things out amongst themselves. So in lieu of just begging them to stop snitching, which I was really trying to do. Um, I kind of started, my, my wife first introduced this and I just really thought it was good. She started introducing this question to them when they came to Tattletale, which is, um, did, did whoever you're telling them, did, did they, did they do something that was unkind or unsafe? Like just asking them, did they do something that was unkind or unsafe? And if not, we say, well, you all can likely handle that yourselves. Like go, yeah. go out and you can talk about it. Well, one time Titus ends up getting upset with Chloe because she had gotten upset with me as a result of a consequence that I had given her. So she's, you know, she's expressing like frustration about something that I had done. And, and it's funny, like she said something that Titus thought was unkind about me. And Titus then basically just, just runs in. Like he's like, he's, he's almost kind of in this attempt to defend his father's honor. He's coming in to say, hey, how dare, like, how dare she say this about you or whatever. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, what she really said wasn't really unkind. I mean, she's just kind of expressing that she was upset. So like, I'm not really that that offended by this, like kind of kind of <laughs> like, why are you? Then I asked the question, did she do something to you <laughs> like that was unkind or unsafe? And he was kind of like, he just kind of looked at me for a second, like, like almost surprised that I wouldn't just like automatically like just say, thank you for defending my honor, young son. <laughs> um, I was kind of more like, hey man, like, like, can you just like go out and just talk this out with with her? And and it, we ended up talking about uh, and kind of talking through how telling on others uh, about others' offenses against someone else isn't necessarily the first step. Like that's not that's not what you should do. You shouldn't just automatically go run and tell on somebody else about uh, something else that they did to offend somebody else. And it, it was it, you know it's it's kind of a thing that you deal with. So that was kind of a funny funny story that that happened with us. So. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm sure you spent probably three or four hours walking them through Matthew 18 on, on biblical <laughs> and discipline, what that looks like, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I tried to break it down, but then he fell asleep probably about, you know, about the first first couple of verses, so. Yeah, 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 yeah that's how it happened. All right, so, well, man, what uh, what's a couple of resources, some resources that you would recommend to parents uh, related to counseling your kids? Like, I mean, really every parent's a counselor um, in, some, yeah. in some way, so um, what would you recommend? Well, man, um, you know, kind of thinking through this, my wife and I certainly, certainly, my wife more than I, like, has certainly thought through this. A couple of resources that, that have been good for, for, for our kids have just been um, resources that do, do well at, like, giving them the language to kind of express their emotions. So, um, man, we've, we've, we've referred to a resource called Bob's Blue Period. It's just a small kid's book uh, that kind of, kind of talks about, like, like, just 
you know, someone who's feeling blue and feeling sad, feeling, feeling, feeling uh, somewhat, somewhat just kind of, kind of blue for no particular reason, just, just a feeling. Um, other resources we've referred our kids, uh, referred our kids to is uh, um, they're, they're entitled I'm Sad uh, and I'm also I'm Bored by uh, Michael Ian Black and also uh, Debbie Ritpath. So um, these, these resources have been good for the kids uh, and, and something that has helped me as a parent. So, so uh, as far as resources for parents, um, The Heart of Anger by Lou Priola uh, is really a great resource that I've, I've uh, um, I read through and um, and it was something that that it's it's kind of framed in a way that's talking about like how to help kids who are dealing with anger. But I, as I read it, I kind of recognized that man, we're all just kind of big kids, <laughs> and and it's, it's almost like I read this book, and it's really kind of speaking to me. It's speaking to man, like how how I how I need to learn how to respond according to God's word uh, in light of the emotions that I, that I may be feeling, like learning how to express those things. So that's that's a that's a, 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 a good. Uh, resource for parents. The other one is uh, called Triggers uh, by Amber Leah and Wendy Speak. Uh, this this uh, this resource really does kind of talk about external and and, and internal uh, indicators that kind of kind of prompt our emotions uh, and, and how we respond to to our children. So those those have been some resources that have been pretty helpful. Man, that's great. That's great. And I was just thinking, and like for for parents that have students that are in kind of junior high, middle school, um, yeah. kind of uh, even in high school. Uh, there's actually a really good resource out there called Axis. Um, it's A X I S. Um, and they put out different resources. I got one. Um, you can sign up for a, a thing in the inbox, and got one the other day, and it's talking about how um, having your kids, um, your students, kind of walk through. And you could do this really at any age, but uh, write down what they were expecting for this period of time in life because life's changed so much, and there's so many emotions to that. Uh, so then writing down like what were their expectations. Um, and then, you know, what actually happened uh, and then how did that make them feel um, just as a means of helping them to kind of process through that, that uh, those feelings that they're going through. Um, and so I thought that was a really good resource for um, also if you got you know, parents that have students, y'all could use that as well um, of helping them to kind of write down and process in different ways the emotions that they're feeling, because sometimes emotions like anger come out, but um, it's really some, that's the smoke to the fire. Um, and so helping us to navigate in um, there to what's going on at a deeper level. Um, so, man, what's one like action step that that you would give to say, hey, hey, like if you're a parent watching this, um, this is one thing that you could just do like today. Um, what what's one action step that you would offer to parents? Yeah, I, I think that's good. I think that's really good. Um, I mean, I do think that making sure that there's an understanding within the home that, that this is kind of the way that our household is going to be it's almost like establishing house expectations uh, is 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 absolutely necessary with it, and this is for for younger kids or even uh, even you know teenagers, uh, older kids. Like I, I do think that it's absolutely important to establish house expectations. Oftentimes, these are referred to as as house rules. Uh, mm -hmm. Joy and I we've instituted that, and um, one of the things that that we do as far as like speaking directly to uh, the expression of emotion is we have a rule in our home that says uh, we use words to share our feelings. And, and in that, that, that rule, that expectation uh, being given to really all of us is, is, is basically saying that, man, we're not just going to um, mull over things that, that may be going on in our hearts. We're not just going to experience things and just keep them internal, or we're not just going to throw tantrums all, all the time. What we're going to do is we're going to actually express uh, our words and we're going to express our, our, our feelings. And uh, it's funny, you know, you think to yourself that that's for the kids, but in all honesty, you start to recognize that this this applies to all of us. Like, I need to make sure that I'm I'm expressing uh, how they may be making me feel. I mean, yeah. I'm expressing those, those types of things. So um, that's I think that's a really good way to, to, to address the expression of emotions and, and allowing people to, uh, to to express their emotions is just by making sure you have clear expectations. And, and one of them being we use words to share, share our feelings. That's great, man. I think, you know, the, the family being on the same page of like, hey, this is what life is like here. Uh, and this is how we live together. Um, I think is, is a huge part of, of raising kids well. Um, man, Gary, thank you for being here with us. Um, parents, you know, you, you guys watching, um, we want to encourage y'all, maybe you're doing things at home uh, that have been really great, or maybe you've had a really hard time in terms of navigating your kids' emotions. We'd love for you to just like comment and uh, be able to, to talk with one another about what's going really well, uh, what you're struggling with, um, so that we can help one another out. We, you know, we're not alone in this parenting thing. Uh, we talk about how uh, that there is not perfection in it, but there's progress to be made. 
Uh, and so we want to take these different things and continue growing uh, and parenting, knowing that God ultimately is the one that is doing his work in our kids' lives. Um, so if this has been beneficial to you as parents, uh, we'd ask that you would share this uh, with other parents. That way more and more parents can hear about how we can raise our kids, how we can shape our arrows up um, to not only hear about Jesus at home, but to be able to take Jesus to the nations when they leave our home. Uh, and so we, we really appreciate you hanging out with us for um, a little while today. Appreciate you parents for ch uh, checking in. So uh, share this with others and comment. Also, um, also comment and let us know what you're interested in talking about. We wanna hear from you. We wanna talk about what's relevant um, to you guys as parents. Um, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Oh, one last, one last uh, announcement. We do have parent equipped classes coming up. Uh, and so maybe this is something that has kind of stimulated the conversation for you at home. And you're like, man, I'd love to dive in deeper. Um, equip classes are going to be a lot deeper dive into this. Um, check it out on our website, mercyhillchurch.com. Uh, and you can check out this video uh, and other videos uh, for parents and for kids on our YouTube page, Mercy Hill Kids. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next time on Shaping Arrows.